What's up guys, right today I'm going to show you some old pictures, okay? I've gone through my old computers and I've picked out some of my favourite pictures from all around the world, some contests and some other stuff as well and show you a bit of my life before you see me on Scotty Kramer's YouTube channel. So guys, I'm going to jump straight in with these pictures right after this. Welcome back guys. Okay, well first off, my first picture I found when I went through my old computer was this one, okay? This is my partner in crime, my twin brother. This picture was taken, I don't know, we was probably about three years old. Probably just before we got our first BMXs. You know what, we rode every single day together. We used to go, we used to get home from school, get out on them bikes and ride out in the street, not at three, but when we got a bit older. And we used to go and make little jumps in the forests. Then we got older and older. Every time though guys, we ever built dirt jumps, they got knocked down. I remember once, me and the crew, we was in the forest for about two or three weeks, making a few jumps. So that is we went and put our helmets on the ride them. Park wardens came along and told us to knock our jumps down. So all that hard work we did, we had to get rid of it. And we never had a skate park growing up either. We had to come down the South Sea on school holidays and ride here. Then at 17, me and my brother we went to the best place known to any action sports in the world. We were in a Woodward camp, okay? So we was campers there. We went for two weeks and we rode every single day. From straight when we woke up, little bit of breakfast, till 10 o'clock at night every day. Going to Woodward was the first time ever going to the US for me. And going there was the start of my career in BMX. That summer was fantastic. We met so many people there at Woodward. It was networking, I made so many friends. And then I flew to my first contest ever in the US. I've done a lot in the UK, but this was scary, this one. I got on a plane all on my own, and I flew out to Denver to the Pepsi Center, and it was the Vans Triple Crown. Now, I didn't know anyone. I've got to be honest with you, I didn't know how that was gonna go, didn't know how good everyone was gonna be. And in my first run, I crashed, went over the handlebars, and I was sick right there on the spot, and I was winded on the ground, couldn't move, so my first experience was a bunch of photographers and everyone running over to me to make sure I wasn't dying on the spot after doing my crash. But anyway, I came back out for my second run and I got 16th place. And back then, I was riding against all these guys I looked up to in magazines and I was really excited about that. After that, I went back to Woodward and I did a bunch of other triple crowns and that is when it took me to California. After that summer, I came back to England for a little bit and I flew straight back to California and I went and stayed with one of my friends. Being 17 and then being in California with all this cool BMX stuff going on all over the place, it was fantastic. We had the van skate park right around the corner. It was across the street from downtown Disney and there was contests every weekend when I was there. The Soul Bowl, that was at the US Surf Open. That was fantastic. They used to put a big vert bowl on the beach whilst everything was going on with the surfing. That was really one of my favorite contests ever to date. And then also after that, where the MSS contest, they were fantastic and always seemed to end the year off was the Vans Triple Crown in Oceanside or right in Huntington Beach. Right in the parking lot, you could hear the waves crashing from when you was in the air. You'd land, boom, hear a wave crash and pop out. It was fantastic. And that is when I knew things were getting pretty serious. In these contests, I was doing pretty well. So then I thought, right, well, you know what? I want to be somewhere where I can really start getting better and better. And the one place I thought of, it was Woodward, back in Pennsylvania. So I was back in Pennsylvania and I used to go down to Woodward every day, okay? I'm not gonna lie, in the winter times there, when there's no one around, it's tough. Sometimes you turn up and you've got to ride on your own at Woodward. Even though it's the best place in the world, it can get boring. But anyway, did that and then when summer came again and everyone came to camp, and you had everyone there and all the pro guys coming in, weeks here, weeks there. You just start learning so many new tricks and having so much good fun. It was great. And then came along Do Tour. Now, Do Tour, it was fantastic because with X Games, it was invite only and to get an invite for that, guys, it was almost impossible. Well, for me anyway. But when Do Tour came along, it gave everyone a chance to be able to get on them bikes and go to one of the best contests in the world and they did five stops. The first two were qualifiers for the year, but if you did good at the first two, you could go through for the whole five, and they had one every every month, and, well, 
that is when the traveling started get home you'd be home for a few more weeks practice them tricks then back off again and i've got to say do tour was my favorite contest in the world and they put it in vegas going to vegas being there and being able to ride bikes and they put a vert ramp on they put a vert ramp over the swimming pool there at the hard rock okay it had a great setting and that was so much fun at this point now i was at scotty's house okay me and scotty we was well I'd, I'd, I'd be there for 10 months of the year at Scotty's, okay? We used to ride every single day together. You used to do so much fun stuff, and it was great. And this is way before the YouTube thing started. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to let you guys know what I used to do before you see me on YouTube and before Instagram, because Instagram wasn't around. That's why I've had to go through old computers right now and dig out all these old school photos for you. Some good crash pics, what I've taken throughout the years. So I'm gonna put them on here. Think you guys may like them maybe a little bit gory but that's okay so yeah guys it was just a really really fun career i know you guys have asked this question so many times and there you go i'll put some pictures up probably some of these are not even on my instagram so you can't even see these i try to go back as old school as possible i probably have pictures on on my old motorola razor phone but if i upload them right now it's gonna be so pixelated that you're not even gonna work out what it is i'm gonna have to go boss side to try and figure it out but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this episode with all these old school photos and the stories I've told you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.